Collaborative quality initiatives address many of the most common and costly areas of surgical and medical care in Michigan. In each quality initiative, or CQI, hospitals and physicians across the state collect, share, and analyze data on patient risk factors, processes of care, and outcomes of care, then design and implement changes to improve patient care. A subset of the CQIs have saved an estimated $1.4 billion in statewide health care costs due to decreased complications and improved patient outcomes. This award-winning model is the first of its kind nationally and is internationally recognized as an innovative approach to improving health care quality and value. The way this all began was we were facing a crisis in the state with the automobile companies. Um, they were having a hard time competing in the marketplace because of their expenses associated with health care costs. And we knew that if we wanted to improve that situation and bring Michigan's economy back, we had to do a better job with creating value in healthcare itself. And both of our organizations have felt an obligation not just to uh, take care of our individual clients or patients, but actually uh, for the entire state of Michigan. We were at Blue Cross, and this was back in the late 1990s, we were uncertain how to proceed because we knew that it wasn't part of our organizational mission to really support scientific research. But we knew that it was part of our mission to support improvement in healthcare. And so we wanted to study this so that we knew that we were really focusing on the things that were right for us to focus on. And it began with a grant from the Blue Cross Foundation. That early experience persuaded us that th we have a very valid role in financially supporting the type of work that leads to those improvements and outcomes. And that, that helped us gain confidence that this was a way to really deliver value to our customers because they're the ones that are paying for this and, and that's what has to motivate us. But if that only happened at the University of Michigan, only a few lives would be saved. And the real power of it was collaborating and getting better at the same time. With the types of complex illness that we have, we need a team. No individual can provide all that's needed, including exploring what are the barriers that the patient faces within their own lives and within their own homes to really succeeding in managing their health and adopting a better lifestyle. The great partnership that actually exists with the practitioners across the state and the leadership that's generally at the University of Michigan, organizing improvement efforts, literally from Marquette to Monroe. They get together and they translate those important elements into improvement that has, has really been a remarkable thing for the entire state. And the amount that it's saved our customers is, is really mind boggling. When we tell our colleagues in other states about this, their jaws drop. Uh, they can't believe we have the number of, of uh, clinical conditions and the level of cooperation across the state and that it's funded by our main payer, Blue Cross Blue Shield of Michigan, is, is just shocking to them. And they compare it with the environment in their state um, where a lot of times they have antagonistic relationships with their payers. And all that is supported, um, funded, nurtured, endorsed uh, and uh, by, by a passionate team uh, at Blue Cross uh, in the uh, Collaborative Quality Initiative Support Group as part of Value Partnerships. That's a tremendous portfolio uh, to help move healthcare forward. The clinical community in Michigan is learning how to be better and better through these efforts supported and sponsored by Blue Cross, but really the clinicians in the state are taking the leadership and coming together because all of them want to give their own patients the very best that they can. The things that have been learned have resulted in over 300 publications. And this means that the world of medicine is learning from what's going on in Michigan. These discoveries are made by the collective group. They helped us 
discover the new knowledge that can help save lives uh, across the state. We're blessed with having a very unique position in the state that allows us to partner in ways that simply aren't an option for a lot of the other health plans. We can uh, enable the, the very capable clinicians and scholars at the University of Michigan and throughout the state to every day improve their, their care. And it's, it's very inspiring. So uh, we have to take it to the next level. And I'm, I'm wondering, how do you think we can do that? Without the support of Blue Cross, it never would happen. And without the willingness of physicians around the state to look at their own practice and say, am I really doing the best for my patients? and I want to learn more about how I can do better. Uh, this never would happen. So where do I think we're going in the future? Um, from my perspective, I think that we're going to do more work on appropriateness. That is, not just decreasing complications and better outcomes when you have a procedure or when you get chemotherapy, but whether that's really the right course of action uh, or not. And, and much more thoughtful about whether those patients will benefit from getting that service and what the other options are. And many of our collaborative quality initiatives have major initiatives that are aimed at trying to understand appropriateness of care. And I believe that that's where our future lies, is taking what we've learned in these easier settings and applying them uh, to things that are just bigger and broader. And I'm, I, I, I know that that will bring many challenges we need to be able to move uh, to improving the management of those longer term illnesses where it's not an episode of care, but it's following a patient, a population of patients over a period of time. Collaborative quality initiative model has a lot to offer of getting specialists together, getting primary care physicians together to learn what works and, and what doesn't and to try and help uh, do improvement. And that infrastructure can be used over and over again to make it easier and easier for the next set of improvements uh, because it's really fostering learning at a grassroots level uh, by collaboration instead of each group trying to figure this out on their own.